Welcome back. In this politically charged world, many people are feeling overwhelmed by their emotions and sometimes don't know how to deal with family members or friends who might have strong differing opinions. Well, I recently talked with Jan Bidwell, a licensed psychotherapist who teaches meditation and mindfulness, and she recommends knowing when to disengage from a toxic conversation and limiting your screen time. Make a compact with your family members that you're not going to talk about politics. You, can't, you can talk about anything else. <laughs> and if it's too jarring to be with somebody who's really locked in and obsessive about it, you might want to back off a little bit from that person and just withdraw whichever way is, is best for you. Because we have to take care of our inner state. Mm -hmm. You know, we ha we're the only ones who can take care of that. So we kind of have to set up our own boundaries. We have to kind of set up our self-preservation mm -hmm. boundaries when mm -hmm. it comes to certain topics that are going to be unnerving, like an election, which we, we go through this every four years. And, and we're, we have different parties and we have different philosophies and views, but, but you're saying that this year is just a little bit different. People are a little more anxious. It's very different. I, like I said, I've been involved, involved in politics since the 70s, and I used to be able to go sit with the opposite party and work on legislation for children's issues. Mm -hmm. And I, I, we would goof around together and, and joke together, and uh, we'd go to events where both sides were there, and we'd sit together, and um, it's not like that now. Mm -hmm. and, and we need to get back there. We need to remember that we're all Americans, and we're all, we all should be pulling in the same direction. And if you see somebody who's really struggling with this, I, I would encourage people to help them soothe themselves. You know, maybe do some breathing together, go for it. We have the beautiful Red Cedar River in the middle of campus, mm -hmm. and in Lansing we have the Grand River. But there, we have beautiful nature very, very close by.